Most people think that they can get away with plagiarism, but it doesn't take a genius to know that there are consequences if you get caught. As a student, you could get expelled or have a permanent mark on your record, but if you're in business, you can actually have legal action taken against you. That's why it's always important to review your work and run it through a plagiarism checker to make sure everything looks good. Our team paid for and tested a bunch of plagiarism checker tools on the market, and in this video, we'll be going over our top picks for you. Let's get started. Grammarly is one of the most well-known plagiarism checkers out there. It has a huge database that it uses to check for sources, so you never have to worry about plagiarizing anyone else's work. Plagiarism testing is just a small part of all the services that they have. Grammarly also checks for grammar, punctuation, clarity, vocabulary, and more. And the best part? You can use it across all of your favorite devices, on the web, the mobile app, or even as a Chrome extension in Google Docs. Unfortunately, only those with Grammarly Premium can use the tool to check for plagiarism. If you use the link in our description, you can get 20% off Grammarly today. Believe it or not, search engines actually punish blogs that publish duplicate content. You're not going to win many new readers when people start to realize your posts are super similar to other sites. Next on our list is Unicheck. Unicheck is a cloud-based plagiarism checker used by over a million users in 90 countries. You can upload documents in over 25 different languages and Unicheck will then instantly search through 40 billion different web sources to report back and highlight which parts of your blog are 100% original and which parts are too similar to other sites. Qtext has a great plagiarism checking database and uses a system known as Deep Search, which pulls from billions of websites and millions of books and journals. Unlike Grammarly or ProWritingAid, Qtext supports multiple languages such as French, Spanish, German, and many more. It's easy to use and has great detailed reporting, which you can also export. On the downside, Qtext only checks for plagiarism, meaning there's no built-in grammar tool like a few other online plagiarism checker tools. This might be a deal breaker if you're looking for an all-in-one tool. Compared to Grammarly, or white smoke, it has a limited database and the free version only lets you check around 5 pages. All of their plans have the same features except the advanced plans let you search for more pages. At the time of this video, their pro basic plan starts at around $70 on an annual basis and you can see it increase with more advanced plans. Copyscape is also another great plagiarism checker that you can turn to if you need help last minute. It's easy to use and works well with most languages around the world. Copyscape also uses a pay-as-you-go pricing model where you only have to pay when you need to use it. It relies on Google and Bing to check its sources so you don't have to worry too much about plagiarism. Unfortunately, there's no way to see your reports or compare them against other versions. You can only use it on your computer as they don't have support for mobile, browsers, or even Microsoft Word. With white smoke, you're not just getting a plagiarism checker, but also a correct grammar checker. It's not perfect by any stretch, but they have a lot of features that most other grammar checkers don't, like video tutorials to show you how to improve your writing. Unlike Grammarly or ProWritingAid, you can use white smoke to check for plagiarism in over 50 languages. The only downside is that they don't have a free version, which isn't all that great for those on a tight budget. At the time of this video, their web plan starts at around $10 per month, while their premium plan costs around $15. For businesses, you're looking around $25 a month. When you're looking for a good plagiarism checker, you should compare and see which tool has a huge database, how spot on they are at checking plagiarism, if they have detailed reporting, and whether they work well with other devices and languages. You can try the tools we covered in this video to see if it's a good fit for you, or let us know if there are other plagiarism checkers that we should look into. You can find links to all the tools in the description below, along with special discounts if you're ready to get started. We hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you next time.